right guys, today we're back with a 2018 F-150. We're gonna do a front door speaker upgrade. Um, so these are the six by nine speakers and we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take another panel off and then in total it's gonna be seven seven millimeter screws or bolts or whatever. So tool wise for this, we have a seven millimeter socket. We're using an impact. You can use a ratchet, whatever. This just helps us, it's faster. We also have a small flat head with some electrical tape so it doesn't scratch up the plastic. And then once we take the speaker out, we'll get into it later, but we have snips to cut off the excess plastic to fit our new speakers into the uh, factory mount. Strippers, obviously, because we're gonna have to tie into the factory wiring. That's it. All right, so the first panel we're gonna wanna take off is gonna be this panel. Normally, if you are struggling with it, you can stick a screwdriver or like those plastic trim tools up in here. But I've kinda had pretty good success just grabbing it and kinda working it out and pulling it. Don't pull down or to the side or anything. The clips go straight out. So just like that, it'll pull out and you won't have any issues or whatever at all. All right, for the next panel is gonna be this one, and this is a pain. Not as much as the next one we're gonna get, but it is just very well clipped in there. So there's a little indent, you'll see it when you look down there, just, it's a flathead screwdriver size indent. Put it in there, and then what I found is pushing the screwdriver as far in as you can, and then prying away works very well. I've seen other people where they try to grab the screwdriver and pull everything out, this thing pops off, they almost shank themselves. I just like prying away. It might do a little bit of damage to the plastic, but you're never ever gonna see it. It's literally hidden behind this. so this is our last panel this is the one everyone I've watched and even myself working on the other side this is the hardest one to not mar up so I got some new super 33 pretty good tape on here with a little bit of lip I don't know if you guys are seeing that lip pretty good so I'm gonna push it in and then try to turn and work it the clips are on each end so I've seen people start right in the middle and it's just bowing and it's not coming out. You're gonna to wanna to pick one end. I usually pick the end kind of tucked away in here. So if you do accidentally scratch it, nobody's really gonna be able to see it. I'll start in there and then I'll start to pop it out and get my fingers in as soon as I can and then pull it out. So like I said, we have seven, seven millimeters. We're using the impact just so it's faster. We have one up here behind the panel we pulled off. Nice and easy. We have two here right on the door handle. Also comes out nice and easy. Two more down here behind that panel. That really sucked getting off. And then there's two on the bottom. I'll get under here and get them, but if you've never got down there before, it's hard because they're actually pretty angled. So just take a good look at the head of the bolt and then follow that same angle. It's not normal. It's not straight in. It's at a, a pretty good angle here. So where are they at right here? You can see I got this like this rather than way down here. You're going to want to follow the angle of the bolt. Nice and easy. Second one's back here. Probably blocking it. It's back here by the cup holder. Nice and easy. So then for getting this panel off, there's a bunch of those push on clips all around the outside. I found it's pretty easy starting at the top here, popping that first clip. I don't know if you heard that, but then you work your fingers around the outside, popping them down the outside.
working down to the bottom. As soon as you're at the bottom here, just pull straight out towards you. They're all pushing straight, no angles, nothing. Pull straight out, work your way up. One here still. There we go. And then pull directly upwards with this. And then so once we get into here, way more simple than it looks. You see all these wires, you get kind of nervous. There's a push down right here for this. Push it down, pull it out, that easy. And then these two connections for your window switch and for your power locks, they all have a push down uh, quick disconnect. Super easy, just push on that tab. You'll see it, I'm sure my arm's blocking it, but they each have tabs, push them down, pull it out, super easy, and they don't fit into the opposite thing, so you're not gonna mess it up when you reinstall it. So then for the actual speaker itself, we'll get this out the way. It's another, just push it in and pull it out type tab. Four more seven millimeters. We'll take those out real quick. So once you have all four of those seven millimeters out, you kind of have to pull a little bit up, but then out and it comes out because this clip right here catches on the side and won't want it to come out if you just pull straight out. So push a little to the side and then out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the stock Ford speaker bracket and then cut all this out and slide ours in and use it. They sell aftermarket ones. I think it's, you know, 65 to $85. That's not worth it for us. So we'll go through the process of showing you guys how to cut into this and install the new aftermarket ones. All right, so step one, you're gonna wanna pull the slack out of these so you can get as much as you can to work with. That's gonna help you. And then I pull them towards me and then you go up and to the side it takes a little bit of wiggling. You don't want to break them. They are pretty sensitive. But you should be able to go to the side like that. Just popped out. Take this one up to the side. Popped out. Perfect. And we're going to flip it over. And this is the kind of scary part. But if you're committing, you're committing. We're going to cut all the way around this. And then pull the whole speaker cone out. All right. We are cutting around it. And then we're here where this is connected to the speaker coil. Snip these, give us as much length as you can. We'll trim it later, but it's better to be long than to be short. <laughs> Cut these right about there. Continue tearing this out. And then we're gonna trim this all the way out, peel the foam too. Just give us as much room as we can, and then we'll go into cutting these plastic bracket supports. All right, so we got these snipped as long as we can to help us out. What we're gonna need to do is cut these brackets flush with this outside ring, because that's all we need is just this ring and these wires. So I'm just gonna start snipping these as close as I can. And then it helps sometimes to flip it over. And well, this one's the one that has that bracket that keeps it in. So that's gonna be the one we don't fully snip, perfect one to pick. But the other ones we're gonna snip down as flush as we can snip here get that whole section out because you don't need any of that so we're going to snip the whole section out and then snip these arms going down all the way around except for this one of course the first one i picked you want to leave that because that is what hooks into the side of the actual door and then seats this speaker so this would be super easy with a dremel that cut it off but we're going to use the snip show you guys you can do it without power tools so it, you just really want to get this outer ring completely clear. So we're going to just snip everything flush along these lines. And that, in doing so, you'll be able to keep this because it's, a it's in line with this outer ring. But yeah, just get this super nice and clean. You don't want anything touching against that speaker because if anything's sticking out, it might cut your cone. Obviously, the vibrations back and forth, it'll be a big problem. 
So really spend some time getting this nice and smooth all the way around the ring. All right, so depending on what six by nine speaker you have, they might have different mounting. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna have to cut this lip here out. So I'm just gonna go right where it starts, give it a little nip, right where it ends, give it a little nip, and I'll go around all the way around the outside and then I'll cut that section out in between so this can actually set flush in this bracket. All right guys, so we have this cut out. It's all the way smooth around so we can seat that speaker in there really good. You can see I left the tabs, got this snipped all the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the foam that came with this speaker around right where, kind of right where the other one was that we tore out, just to keep a really good seal. I like to do this, it's not necessary, but it will definitely help some of the air that might escape out around the speaker. So we're gonna screw this down to the bracket. you guys can see this pretty good this is the wiring diagram I think it's 15 15 through 19 it might go into 20 21 22 I'm not exactly sure but for us since we're doing the right front positive is white slash violet Violets! violet and the negative is white slash orange so what I'm gonna do is tie into these two with wire nuts and I'm an electrician so my entire livelihood is on wire nuts. I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, solder it. Yeah, it would be better if you had solder and you could do this, but wire nuts is going to be completely fine. And if you're worried about the vibrations and it tapping against it, we'll show you. If you wrap some electrical tape around the wire nut and around the actual wires, nothing else is going to get conductive and there's going to be no noise if it does hit. So if you look, let's see here, you're going to have to hold the harness that connects into here up to it and you'll see the colors um, we're not up there next to it but it's going to be the positive and the negative is going to be these two outer ones and then you'll have that corresponding all the way back to your speaker we got positive here or what is it yeah positive here negative here so you'll just attach these to the corresponding ones One. So this is everything wired, now we're good to put it in the truck. Alright, so we have this speaker seated correctly in this factory Ford mount. So we're good to put it back in. We still have this little lip here. So we're going to make sure we're not pinching anything. Get in there, right there, lock it in. Plug it back in and then shoot our four 7 millimeters back in. We're good. Two Ugga Duggas, you gotta be real careful with these, you don't wanna strip them. Ooh, that's a three Ugga Dugga. And then another quick tip. Test it before you put the door panel on. Anything could be messed up. Anybody can make mistakes. Test it before you put everything back on because you don't want to take it all back off. You're going to be upset and it's not going to be worth your time. All right, so we tested this. It's working. So we're going to put this door panel or this door card back on the truck. All right, so we're putting this door card back on. We're going to put this in this little groove there. Locks back in, you hear the click, super easy. And then we have our power window, power locks. Might be pretty hard for you to see, but it's really, they don't fit in to the other one, so you can't mess it up. Push it in until you hear the click. Got it there, here's our window, hear the click. So then when we're pushing this door card back on, you push it up against the window or the door, and then slide it down. You wanna make sure you get that where it's supposed to go. Sometimes that catches and you're 
gonna be fighting against it the whole time. But see that, just seat it good against it, push it down, and then you're just gonna pop all your clips back in all the way around. Clips are all good. So now we're gonna put in our seven, seven millimeter screws, and we're good. Yeah, guys, if you take your time, be careful with the plastic because it can get marred and scratched up pretty easy. Should be a pretty easy job, one to two beers. If you're like us, probably four to six beers. But uh, yeah, that's the six by nine upgrade for the front. If you guys like that, give us some comments, give us some likes. We'll do the six and a halfs in the rear and give you guys a video for that. Yeah, I'm afraid what am I about to say?